to show me all the things that you don't show me in the special way I feel when you hold me. We gon' always be together, baby. That's what you told me, and I believe it. Cause I never had nobody do me like. So let's show you the composition of this name, the greatness and the power that the name of Jesus is composed of. Let's go to Isaiah, the ninth chapter. Yes, sir. And we're going to read two verses to take a look at it to show you the composition of this name. Isaiah 9, and we're going to pick it up at verse 6. Isaiah 9, and we're going to pick it up at verse 6. Y'all take y'all time to get there, brothers and sisters. I ain't got nothing to do but to serve the Lord on this holy Sabbath. You see what I mean? Plus, I'm trying to throw y'all off because I'm trying to check in for my flight so I can get in a good position. That's funny. <laughs> Isaiah 9 and 6. Go ahead and read, my brother. For unto us a child is born. Mm -hmm. Unto us a son is given. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. Go ahead and read. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. Look at that status, people. He is the ruler of all existence. Go ahead and read. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Yes, sir. Counselor. Counselor. The mighty God. The mighty God. The everlasting Father. Uh -huh. The Prince of Peace. King of kings and Lord of lords. Make no mistake. Now, you hear me now. Take your time, brothers and sisters. Well, we got two. And we're going to pick it up at verse one. Malachi 2, verse, verse 1. And the title, again, is Jesus' name. Go ahead and read, Brother Daniel. And now, O ye priests. What are we talking about? We're talking about the priests, right? Who is the priest, people? Who is the priest? Israel. Go ahead and read. This commandment is for you. This commandment is for you. I know we live streaming, right? right? So if you brothers are paying attention, this commandment is for you. Go ahead and read. If ye will not hear. If you won't hear or consider, go ahead and read. And if ye will not lay it to heart. If you don't consider this in your mind, go ahead and read. To give glory unto my name. To give glory unto my name. What name do Israel have a problem with? Jesus. Take school. Go ahead and read. Say it, the Lord of hosts. So this is not me saying this to Israel. It's the Lord saying it to me. Brother, the one who you say you serve, the one who you say is your God, he's talking to you. If you don't Consider and give glory unto my name. Go ahead and read, my brother. I will even send a curse upon you. He's going to curse you. Matter of fact, put this in your pipe and smoke it. Go ahead and read. And I will curse your blessings. Matter of fact, put this in your pipe and smoke it. Go ahead and read. Yeah, I have cursed them already. For the older people, as we do an international broadcast. That man considered it. <laughs> I have cursed your guesses already. Go ahead and read, my brother. Because you do not lay it to heart. Because you will not lay it to heart. You give reverence honor to the only name whereby men might be. My brothers and sisters, you get the same information. Because the Lord gonna hold up you to the fire if I give you some tainted. You see what I'm saying? Malachi 1 and 11. Let's look at another example of how we can prove that the name is indeed Jesus. Go ahead and read verse 11, that's one verse. For from the rising of the sun, even unto the going down of the same. So from the east to the west, 
Because the sun will rise in the east and the set in the west. Go ahead and read. My name shall be great among the Gentiles. My name shall be great among the Gentiles. Who are the Gentiles? Who cares? White people. Yes, sir. You, you walk up on the Gentiles saying, Peace in the name of your house shot. They're going to be like that. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? The Latino, they, they been child. Peace in the name of Yahweh. Who is that? I say peace in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That means me. They know. Because it's the greatest name. Oh, the world. I'm so waiting for the invitation. What is up, you guys? It is Saturday, November the 18th. Happy Saturday. We are out. It is currently 445. We have finished with um, our church service. We have eaten lunch. Now we're at a local corner store just getting some outreach done. Y'all see the outreach team members behind me. Of course, you see the trusty church van. We never leave the church without it or whatever. And I just wanted to pick you guys up. It's a beautiful day outside, uh, especially to get out and get some of the Lord's work done. I just wanted to check in with y'all. Hope y'all are having a fantastic start to your weekend. I talk to me. I really want to meet you, girl. I really want to know your name. Oh, come and talk to me. I really want to meet you, girl. I really want to know your name. Oh, yeah. You look so sexy. You have a good time. Tell me what you like. I just want to be with you. My lesson, I've been single for a while now, and I've been kind of lonely, but I'm looking for somebody to talk to, love me. There's so much darkness in the world, but I see beauty left in you, girl, and what you give me lets me know that I'll be alright, cause if your love was all I had. Here are the items that I got from HEB. First things first, I picked up this 80 count of sandwich bags. I also got three Celsius for husband. This week is a short week for us all. Uh, we'll all be in the office for three days. Well, I'll be in the office for two days because it's a holiday week and husband and Zay will be um, in their respective offices for three days. Hence why I got Bay three Celsius. I got one peach vibe, one strawberry lemonade and one mango passion fruit. I should have gotten myself only three uptime, but instead I got four. I just wasn't thinking. Uh, the flavors that I got are two blueberry pomegranate, which are my current favorite, which is my current favorite flavor. Then I also got mango pineapple and raspberry lemon. I got two bags of chips. These uh, jalapeno Doritos are Isaiah's current fave from HEB. And my current fave is the thin sour cream and onion. I also got a value pack of paper plates and I got some command strips as well. I also had to run back this jug of raspberry lemonade because it's so freaking delicious. I should have gotten two, but we already have one in the refrigerator. So sometime this week, maybe on Wednesday when I'm working from home, I'll go and get another two jugs. But y'all, this is so freaking delicious. And if you have an HEB in your area and you have not tried this, please do so. You're welcome. I also picked up two boxes of Louisiana chicken fry. This has been hard to find in my area for some strange reason, not quite sure why, but I went ahead and picked up two boxes. I'll be using one for sure for tonight's dinner, which will be fried chicken wings and chicken strips. Um, and then I'll put the other box in the pantry. I also picked up a bag of checkers slash rally fries. This will be our side to the fried chicken. These 12 packs were on sale. They were two for seven. I got two original cola and one Dr. B, which I believe is likened to Dr. Pepper. I have never tried that one before, so I'll keep you guys posted on how I like it. And I also got one Wild Red, which is likened to Big Red. I needed some more laundry detergents, so I got that. And lastly, I got some more vegetable oil. And these are the items that I got from the grocery store. Right, 
My brother in the kitchen and he rapping the bell. Louis V my bag and Louis V on my belt. I've been drinking, I've been drinking. I get filthy when that liquor gives it to me. I've been thinking, I've been thinking. Why can't I keep my fingers off it, baby? I want you, nah, nah. Why can't I keep my fingers off it, baby? I want you, nah, nah. The way you make me feel these days. Some getting dry for your baby girl. Smoking. It's not hot, the you be calling me, stressing me, page my people. You
we have to play it by ear because his birthday is on the 24th. You know, some places will be either overly crowded or closed. So I don't know, we might try to celebrate his birthday the day before, which is the 23rd, Wednesday. Um, or we might try to do it on, on a Monday or maybe a Sunday. I don't know. We definitely want to avoid crowds. If you notice a trend here, we don't really want to be all up in the mix, especially at a crowded restaurant. But whatever it is we decide to do for husband, I'll definitely pick you guys up and take you along. Um, how was you guys this weekend? Leave me some comments down below letting me know what you did, whether it was exciting, boring, did you take it easy, did you turn it up, like what did you do? Leave me some comments down below so we can chop it up in the comment section. My weekend was very chill, much needed. Um, we've been preparing for husband and the Truth Bar music team um performance on december the second aka bath and body works candle day <laughs> i hope that you all have a fantastic week for many of you guys i know that it is going to be a short week this week for me um my office is closed thursday and friday and most of you know i work from home on wednesday so i just gotta thug it out today and tomorrow and then that's it for me i find myself at home another five days and i'm definitely not mad at that um husband and zay also have short weeks which make me super excited uh, because we have an opportunity to spend some time together even if it's just a little bit of time you know the three of us because Isaiah does have some friends that are home uh, from college and I, I of course know that he's going to want to spend time with them but if I can just get you know a little bit of the three musketeer family time I would be a-okay with that and lastly this week at work is probably going to be very very busy uh, considering that we're only in the office two days this week. Last week when I was working from home, I did a lot of prep for payroll, got in a lot of invoices, and we're ready to go at this point. We're just waiting on the approved uh, payables report to come in. That was submitted last week for upper management approval, and we could literally get that any day now. Uh, hopefully, I can get that today, maybe tomorrow, um, so that I can go ahead, work on it, get it over and done with, and, and submit it uh for review and signature i have my t-mobile tuesday bag not much is in it i have two lunchables and a bag of chips here are my two lunchables they're turkey and cheese and then i also have these heb chips now y'all don't judge me okay right y'all don't judge me that i bought that big old thing of chips i'm not gonna eat all that for lunch i just bought it because i didn't have time to bust it down into small ziploc bags and i also have an uptime as well this is the blueberry pomegranate flavor my current favorite flavor from uptown uptime sorry so cheers mm. y'all gonna get sick of me saying this i absolutely love this cap this cap keeps the freshness on 10 and baby that just tasted like I, I opened it like I just opened it so I absolutely love the cap Good afternoon, family. It is 1.39. I am on my lunch break. Work has been going very, very well. It is so slow, y'all. Both of my managers is on vacation. <laughs> I was expecting to see at least one of them, but baby, neither one of them is there, which is making the day go by even slower. I'm not tripping though, sorry about that bag noise. I'll show y'all what that is in a second, but I ain't tripping, I'm just letting y'all know. So I thought it was just going to be me and one other lady, actually the same chatty Kathy that I was telling y'all about in that one vlog. I'll put the uh, thumbnail to the vlog on the screen now because a lot of people got chuckles out of the um, quick little story time I gave of my encounter with this same said chatty Kathy. She's there today and I don't know if it's the look on my face or what, but sis didn't try it today, okay? She said good morning. 
I said good morning and that was it. Leave me alone. I'm trying to be very unbothered yet productive today and I don't need no more of your water faucet conversation. Like I just don't need it. So, so far, so good. But y'all don't judge me. Look at all this. <laughs> So I went to a local, sorry about the bag noise. I went to a local Mexican restaurant. I was really craving some chicken enchiladas. This is my little salsa. Oh, thank God they gave me some utensils, y'all. Cause I promised I was gonna be real salty if they didn't. Not quite sure what the heck that green sauce is, but I was really uh, craving some enchiladas. And I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead on and tap in. Cause it's been quite some time since I've had some. This is what they look like. Oh, Father, goodness gracious. Whoo, that looks really, really good. And in this pan, I also got some sopa pias. I wasn't expecting them to come in this pan and we definitely gonna keep that aluminum pan. Uh, but when the guy brought my food out, I was like, sir, is are both of these mine? That looks really large. He was like, oh no, our sopa pias are really large. And I'll show y'all what a sopa pia looks like in the event you've never had one before. But he was like, our sopa pias are pretty large. So we have to put them in that container. And I got four because I wasn't thinking that they were going to be large. I thought they were going to be like beignet size, which is like that big. Um, and I was probably going to eat like one or two and then save the rest for later. Had I known because it's been so long, like a year, maybe two since I've eaten lunch from this particular restaurant. Mm -mm. My little shell coming off though. Mmm. It's real good though. Done with my lunch. Show you guys how much I have left. Excuse me. So pretty much a full enchilada plus a half or a piece of one other. There were three in total. Here are my sopa peas. And excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. Give me one. Give me a second. Okay, I'm good now. Before I look into this, I really do hope these people did not just give me the sulfur peas and then give me honey. <coughs> this is not what I was expecting at all. This is what they look like. Now, I don't know if they look like this because they've been sitting for a while or what, but definitely not how I'm used to them being. And oh my gosh, did y'all see that? These two crunchy. Hold on. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Good afternoon, fam. It is 527 and you already know the vibes. Good evening. We are off of work. The sun is setting. Child, we are past the golden time of day. Or would this be considered the golden time of day? I don't know. Y'all leave me some comments down below because I always consider the golden time of day when it's golden in the sky. Child, it looked like it's about to be dark. So maybe not golden, but leave me some comments. Anywho, I hope you guys had a fantastic Monday, my Monday was painfully slow, <laughs> but it is what it is, child. To God be the glory. We are done. I only have one more day in the office, which is tomorrow for this working week. I only have two more days to be on the clock tomorrow and Wednesday, and that's it. Four day weekend, me please. But if you know your girl, I'm counting. I'm counting Wednesday to Sunday as just my vacation time. Yeah, I'm gonna be on the clock, you know, whatever on Wednesday, but because both of my managers are on vacation, I highly doubt either one of them are going to email me. They barely emailed me today and they only emailed me because I emailed them. I was just trying to get ahead of some work. I wasn't expecting that either one of them were going to respond to me, but y'all know the vibes and know how they get down. <laughs> vacation where? <laughs> Break for what? Like they don't believe in that. I don't know why. Don't know what's wrong with them, but it is what it is. However, on Wednesday, I'm not bothering people and I don't want the people to bother me. Thus, they on vacation, I'm on vacation. It's a win-win for all of us. The office is closed Thursday and Friday. Can I get an amen and a hallelujah? 
Yes, in Jesus' mighty name. So I'm super excited, you know, that uh, I have an extended vacay coming up around the corner. I can see it. Um, speaking of vacation and just kind of hanging out and taking a break from work, we do have to do some preparation for our time at home. Husband wants to get on the grill mm, tomorrow night, tomorrow evening. Yeah, tomorrow evening. No, I'm lying. Not tomorrow evening, Wednesday, because husband works through Wednesday. I work through Tuesday. So the plan was for him to get on the grill Wednesday afternoon. So I have until Wednesday morning, excuse me, to get what we need for our barbecue. It's going to be a cold ghetto mess, child, because it's supposed to be cold here starting tonight we're supposed to have like a little storm situation or whatever i don't know if it's gonna hit my side of town but that's what the news say you know <laughs> i believe it when i see it but i do know that they are saying even if we don't see rain on my side of town we are supposed to get a cold front due to wherever the rainfall may hit right so our highs for like the next week and a half two weeks will be in the 50s and our lows will be in the low 40s and y'all know that's cold 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 honey it don't take baby 69 is is ugly weather okay for me so 40s and 50s mm, y'all about to see some layering from your girl some shackings from your girl some uggs from your girl so just <laughs> love me anyway y'all okay. had a wonderful day today super productive even though it was it was painfully slow i'm glad it's over I know you're glad Monday is over. We're inching closer and closer to our break from work. And I know everybody is happy about that. I am going to finish my commute home. And I will see you guys once I get there. I have made it home, gotten comfortable, and have even made myself a cup of tea, chill. I am ready to call it a day. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in this vlog. If you did, please be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. If this is your first time here, don't leave a stranger. Hit that subscribe button to join the fam and hit that post notification bell so that you never miss another one of my uploads. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Me and my group.